With unpredictable weather and more dry days than snowy ones, ski resorts like North Star that rely on snowmaking to stay open as long as possible are looking toward more efficient ways to keep their industry alive. We don't want to use more energy. We want to reduce our energy consumption. And so that's a big one too when we think about our future and sustainability and how we're going to move forward. Shannon Bueller is in charge of mountain operations at North Star, which includes overseeing the nearly 300 different snowmaking devices they use. We have about 50 fan guns at our resort, and we have about another 250 air water guns. Traditional air water guns require an employee to manually turn them on, but fan guns are a newer, more efficient technology that uses less energy, no manual labor, and makes more snow that's better quality. All important considering they never know how much snow they'll need. It all depends on the year. There are years where we make snow all the way into April and then there are years that we make snow first week of January and we're done. Snow making first started at ski resorts about 70 years ago, but a lot has changed as weather has become more unpredictable and the need to make more snow more efficiently has become more important. Climate change is a th absolutely a thing that we're talking about and temperatures have changed and you see all these this data about how many more days it's been warmer on average. Shannon says building a strong snowpack in a more efficient way is something they work on throughout the year as they look to keep this mountain open to guests just as long as they possibly can. All of our summer projects and maintenance projects are all about how can we ensure we have a winter next year and that people can come skiing. And this is actually a really fascinating concept to talk about, especially as we're looking at what's happening here in Colorado, mm -hmm. because when we were doing our climate change series um, on the weekday morning show and the Today Show happened to be doing uh, a climate yeah. change series as well. And all of our reporting found that the experts say because of the effects, ski seasons are actually expected to be severely shortened by 2050. Deal. And that's obviously a big industry here in yeah. Colorado. So this is actually a really interesting idea yeah. to try to maybe make up for um, um, some of the effects. It is, you know, when you look at around the state, actually, there's a bunch of counties that have been identified for having some of the most dramatic changes in right. their climate. Like, oh, I was talking with some of the folks from Telluride, and they were saying, you know, one of that that's one of the counties yeah, where they're yeah. the most worried. And so this is a very real concern here because this is also people's livelihoods. Right, right. And it, it's not it's just about we enjoy skiing. Here. It's, it's money. We're yeah. Talking, yeah. But we also have to protect the state that we live in. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it's such a fine balance. That's why I do think that's a very interesting interesting concept. Uh, speaking of somebody, I mean, this kind of, this really is in your wheelhouse, Keely. I mean, <laughs> right, uh, yeah. you're a scientist. Yep. You also enjoy skiing. We give yep. our, we give our money to that tourism industry right there. Yeah. Any kind of snow is good snow, right. whether it be from mother nature or artificial snow is great. And that's right. And what you were saying, we will need more of that artificial snow as we advance through the years. 